I'm doing this video? Well, I just say, be honest. I don't necessarily feel safe anymore. Because of mass censorship. And I don't want them to take down my video. Depending on where I post this video. And I need views. And I'm going to be honest. Now, wearing this shirt. The 301 shirt. To represent. Merlin. Where I live and where I'm from. I'm thankful for all the people who have served in the military and law enforcement, the good law enforcement and bad law enforcement, good military and bad military. It depends. And anybody who decides to be protection and stands up and be strong. Or the strong man or strong woman. Or strong whatever you decide to be. Or whatever you identify with. Yeah, and I went there. But, um, the truth of the matter is, I don't know how I necessarily feel protected. I need neighborhood watch. We need more. We need security. And... In Maryland, there's not, there's not really too much I can really do in my area. And I'm being in the county I'm in, Prince George's County, where they ask you if you, when you call 911, they ask you if you have COVID symptoms before they come, if they're going to come, even if you say, if they find out it's not necessarily a life and threatening situation they ask you certain questions and i'm not sh and i wouldn't be surprised if some areas ask you if you've been taking a jabby jabby the jabby jabby anyway truth of the matter is i need there to be strong people again because there were veterans they used to be strong people who I could just turn to and I could see their faces, but they're they're hiding under a muzzle. It's not a it's not protection. It's a muzzle that does not stop the transmission of the COVID. I know that's offensive to some people, and then ninety five doesn't even you know they did the same thing with the Spanish flu and a lot of people. Some people died of it. Pneumonia. You can get bacteria pneumonia, bacteria pneumonia, and but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave that, leave that uh for another video. I got other videos talking about other things, but this thing is right now. I really want to see strong people, whether well, strong men or strong women, but that. I even have a video on Rumble, the lack of strong men, and and I don't feel I don't feel safe in a place where where I look up to law enforcement and security, and the most they they're just mass police, and they don't even, they don't protect you. They just they just tell you to wear a muzzle and. That doesn't stop the transmission of the COVID. And I look for a man. And a lot of the veterans have been feminized by the muzzle. A lot of the, a lot of the military that used to be strong. The police, off, police officers that used to be strong. And a lot of the security that used to be strong. But the most they do now is in... Enforce tyrannical orders and things and whatever they're from, and they all they do is support sir, tyrannical orders from their governments and violate human rights and crimes against humanity and and 
and people need to know. Of course, the thing about the jabby jab crimes against humanity is already going to come out, and people will be charged for violating the Newtonburg Code. And I'm going to do a video, and I'll have a video um, related to the in code against the Mr. Jabby Jabby. I call it the Mr. Jabby Jabby on this video. I would say Jabby Jabby. But um, the truth of the matter is, I don't feel protected at as this time I'm doing this video. I don't feel protected because the most I looked at is all of them are, a lot of them are hiding under a muzzle. It's not a mat. I don't, I don't call it, necessarily call it a, a mask. I call it a muzzle because that's what it is. It's just something to stop, you know, that they put on a um, oxen and, you know, what they put on animals is, is, is muzzles. But they put on dogs and people they had in slavery. They've in, put in, put in, they've been enslaved during history. Oh, I, I did, I have pictures. I posted pictures on that too. Cause, uh, they did mask the, uh, slaves and current slaves are masked too. But I can't really talk about it. But that's not what this video is about. I can put the description right there and I can show you, uh, you know, I'll just have to keep it on the screen for a while. So, because some people are so about it and, and you got to keep stuff on the screen for people enough to write stuff down and, and link up stuff. But, um, right now I, I wish there were strong men. I wish there was neighborhood watch. But the time, my work hours, I can't organize, really organize one because I, you know, my work hours and, and I'm not in a relationship with a strong man who, who, um, that I can depend on. Now that I'm looking for to depend on a man, I'm an independent woman, work a full-time job. With overtime. But the truth of the matter is. I need. We need neighborhood watch everywhere. We need people who will stand up. We need people who clean up. Because. Uh, that's the idea. For different states. You can pay people. To clean up the litter. Oh, we got plenty of litter. There are plenty of masks on the ground. Of it, along with the other litter that's on the ground. Every time I turn around, I see a mask on the ground. Stepping over it. Stepping on it. Stepping at it. They're on the ground. There's more litter now. A face mask on the ground. Somebody can get together, raise funds. And some of the youth can have a job, a, a job, a part-time job. Or some people can have, have a part-time job. Your state can have a part, give people a part-time job just to clean. Because there's a lot of litter. You can cut the grass, you can do other landscaping because they can't always get to the landscapers. You can pay people to clean up the litter. And not just the correction, because all the things with the, the community service and correctional, they can't get to all the cleaning. The, the community service or whatever the people do or whatever, they don't, they don't, they aren't cleaning everything up. The clean street sweepers, they're not cleaning everything up. But places want the sanitation workers to take the jabby jabby and violate the number code. Which some people got executed back in the 1940s. Yeah, for the 1940s. I'll do a video on that. On, on the, on the 
in code against the jabby jabby. But I'm going to tell the truth and I'm, because I'm an honest person and I need protection. I need people to protect and serve and I, I need them without a mask and I don't feel protected by a mask man. I, I don't. I, I, I do need the protection and you know Please still protect me, even though you have a muzzle on your face. But uh, I don't feel, you know, safe because all all the men are doing now is enforcing tyrannical muzzle mandates, and everybody medically can't wear a muzzle. And by HIPAA, I don't have to disclose my medical information for not wearing a muzzle. I don't have to disclose any medical information. You violate HIPAA by asking people if, if they've been detected jabby jabby. That, well, the V. They ask the people if they had the V. Identification. That violates HIPAA. That was a law that's in place already. But, unfortunately, states are violating that. And they're violating that by forcing people to wear a muzzle. I, I just want that. I I just want to see people who are strong again. You're not taking. You're, you're basically a lot are not taking care of the veterans, and, and there are too many homeless people. And I want to raise funds for that so you can so you can house the homeless and create affordable housing. I have things, ideas for that. I I have ideas for to create where it, it's not you know cost of you know efficient. I there are ways to create affordable housing and have affordable housing and mobile units and portable housing. I got all kinds of ideas. But people can inbox me and and I'll you know, I can respond or, or email or whatever the case may be. I've been looking at property online and then talk to a real estate agent and 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 I don't always have time to contact the real estate because the time because of my work hours. But I'm gonna I'm gonna um I just need to feel protected again. I want I want so bad to feel protection again, but they all they do is all the people who are supposed to protect me are forcing the muzzle are muzzled and enforcing the muzzle, tyrannical force in the muzzle. And they say they go by the CDC, but the CDC also says that everyone can't wear a cloth muzzle over their nose and mouth. And a lot of people are wearing them wrong anyway, so, you know, they're not wearing them correctly. And OSHA, by OSHA, you're really supposed to, when you wear PPE, you're supposed to have training. But a lot of people, you know they don't have training. The people, main people who are telling you to wear a muzzle and pull it up over your mouth and nose and they, they, they aren't trained. But I'm going to leave that there and I'm trying to keep this under 15 minutes. And I love people. I don't want people to die of stuff, but I've done my research and I know the muzzles and Mr. Jabby Jab doesn't protect you. They just, all it is is making people sick. Yes, making people sick. Research that. I'm going to do some videos. I got to do some videos more on certain things. And I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Electronic hug.